フルカウンター Alright, boys, welcome back to the Grand Cross video. But I think more importantly, a 7 a s i n s video because this is not necessary towards Grand Cross. However, there is some Grand Cross news in here that you might be excited about. So we'll go for that later on. But I've probably woken up to one of the best news I think I could have gotten as a 7 a s i n s fan because we now have the new confirmation of the new Fortnite Apocalypse anime who's actually animating it. And spoiler alert, boys, it's not Dean Studio. If you don't know, Dean Studio were the ones who animated the final season of 7 a s i n s and Those are the ones who ruined the reputation of Seven Sins because of the poorly animated scenes and all the hype moments is ruined because of bad animation. Where now, boys, we actually have a good studio. It's kind of exciting to see. And I've actually read the Fortnite Apocalypse. It's actually really good. I think I'm starting to prefer it more than Seven Sins, but it's only because Seven Sins had built up so much stuff to where Fortnite is actually taking advantage of all the stuff they built up, such as characters returning. But don't worry, I won't be spoiling the manga so you can still just read it yourself or watch the anime when it does come out. And I think one good thing about the sequel is that it doesn't necessarily follow the children of the Sin characters. While they do make appearance on definitely other ports later on, it does start off as its own thing basically. So even if you're not a s e r i o u s fan, you can probably still watch the sequel and get into it a bit more. It will still be a bit confusing with the characters, but I think the way the characters are shown, you can kind of not really care about s e r i o u s Sins, although you would get a better understanding of the world and what's going on if you have obviously read the main storyline. And to be fair, it's not really c o a l e d for like Apocalypse, it's still under the Seven Sins name, so you can kind of class it just another season, but it's still under Seven Sins, so you still kind of have to read it. But I do think it does a good job to, to introduce new characters, kind of something similar to the way AOT did their final seasons, where you get Gabby and the new characters. Obviously, it's a lot different, and I'm not even comparing AOT towards Fortnite's Apocalypse, but the way they introduce characters is, I think, a good way of doing it. All right, so on screen now is what was shown. So this is actually revealed so much here. Firstly, we get kind of the art style. We kind of saw already on screen now, as well, you can see what is shown months ago now, but we didn't know who was behind it. It was actually leaked that it was Bind Studio. I think the ones who did it, Mishoko Tensei, but that was obviously fake. So I just, that's why I didn't have a cover it, but this is confirmed now. So firstly, we have obviously, The way the character looks. Obviously, you lot know, boys, I love green. So, this is one of my favorite characters, probably in Seven Sins as it is right now. And I cannot wait for this character to come out. You can kind of think of him as the new Mediodis. However, not on the same level as Power, but maybe towards the end of the series, he might get up there. But this guy is,、uh, yeah, basically the new Mediodis. And he's got green hair. We love him. He's sick as well. And then down here, we have kind of a little、uh, image of what. I guess I think the anime looks like and what's gonna be shown.、Uh, I'm not gonna say anything about this. It's kind of the first episode, to be fair, but it looks good. It looks good, and that's the main part. And obviously, as you can see down here, there's a little Grand Cross logo. So we'll go for that in a second. But you have real the voice actor of the actual Percival, which is what the character is here. But this is the voice actor for Percival. And as you can see, he's done very notorious roles in Total Match Game, which is Student and Student A. So you lot, if you watch the anime, you might recognize him because clearly he had a massive part in the anime. But if you want to know the actual studio behind the anime, these are what they've Done is by Telecom Animation Studio.、Uh, the ones I've watched are Nagatora Season 1, not Season 2 because the actual production has been changed, but Season 1 of Nagatora was so good. So, like, it's a good studio. And I think Tower God had a certain animation style.、Uh, you can see down here, this is some of the works, I think, from Orange, if I'm not mistaken. But, like, it, it, it's good animation. Like, could you imagine s e r i o u s i n s in actual good animation again, boys? This is going to be unreal. It could even look better than A1, depending on how they go about it. So, this is、uh, looking promising. No longer CG either. We, we know it's 2D, which, to be fair, I didn't mind the CG in the movie. However, I definitely do prefer 2D animation, especially when it is good. So, overall, a massive W here. All right, so this is the translator page, and there's a few things to go through. One is that actual trailer, I believe, or PV, or some sort of teaser with actual animation will be shown on the 25th of January. So, literally in a few days' time now, we're going to actually see something in it. The voice acting is going to be sick, man. I can't wait for it. And then down here, boys, you see a little, little tease towards something. Oh, so I haven't talked about already. This is, um, Once again, probably actual screenshot from the anime. Looks so good. Look at his face. There's more detail on that face than the entire season of the, or the entire last two seasons of Seven Sins. It is a、uh, gas to see.、Uh, if you know this part here, and once again, not that crazy part, but if you know who that is, that's going to be sick to see as well. But、uh, going down, you see a little Grand Cross thing here, which is、um, weird to throw in. So let's、uh, read it what it says. So, firstly, it has gotten the Ragnar logo. Not too sure why. I did see a m a z i n g tweet about it saying this could be confirmed with Ragnar returning. And we already know Ragnar returning or. Something to do with Ragnarok. Honestly, 
I can't tell you why. They probably just picked a random poster of what this actually was, and they just picked that, I guess, right? But it does say down here, now granted, the translation is a bit off here. If you have better translations, do let me know in the comments. But it basically just says the four apocalypse in Grand Cross, the decision to participate in the war. So basically confirming they're coming. And I think I translated on another site as well, and they said the race is decided to participate. So the whole point of what this is actually trying to say is that they decided to join the game, basically. So it has confirmed right now. So that basically just confirms that four is coming and necessarily not really any new information all right so this was an article posted i believe when origins came out one month or not came out but when he first revealed it so about a year and a, a bit ago now and this was by I, I don't know who's in charge of it i think the person behind origins or uh Chevy sins the, the whole like director so obviously someone that works in the marble and they do say here the interview does ask the stories heading towards season three or the final part of it remember this was posted before 2022 so this is literally we hadn't even started getting season four content yet and they do say do you have any plans after the season for ending so what we're gonna get probably to wrap up this year at the end of this year with chaos Arthur. do you have any plans to go any further with the story mode they do say that nothing has obviously been completely confirmed however he has a feeling that he wants to continue the original story after the end of the four seasons so when chaos Arthur gets introduced and you know the end of seven sins there are plans to develop the latest work the four nights of the apocalypse so we'll let you know when it's been decided and i think this is basically what they've confirmed with this announcement in a way so boys that is all for today once again kind of just breaking down the news of what just happened within the services community we now have confirmation that the new anime for fortnite apocalypse will be coming sometime soon or we'll be getting a teaser a trailer something of the sort in four days time we know that animation studio is actually a good one we're not going to get shafted still a bit unfortunate that it even happened to begin with because obviously the final season of seven scenes was such hype moments where i do think in four nights until i probably if it's a, if it's two core 24 episodes until like the last like 15 episodes, it's going to be a bit slow because you're interested in new characters. I mean, some cool things do happen, but when they get to the peak part with obviously fighting and all the reveals, if you've read the manga, you know it's going to be different and I cannot wait for it. We'll definitely do a reaction on this channel if when they do reveal the trailer, hopefully we get some teasers towards Arthur. I just want to see him. I want to see him again. He looks so sick, boys. So, uh, boys, thank you for watching. Are you excited for obviously the announcement of the anime? But are you excited that we possibly could be getting Fortnite's content in the game? Probably this year, to be fair. Obviously, I think we're gonna be getting tristan sometime soon however the tristan we're probably gonna get will be based off the actual movie which is not really the four nights if you've seen tristan in four nights he is much older and completely different actually looks a lot better so i wouldn't mind seeing him there but Percival will probably be the first character to introduce us towards the Four Nights content. And then we have Arthur, but the Arthur we see in Four Nights is completely different to the one we saw at the end of Seven Sins. Remember, there's like a 16 year time skip. So it, it, a lot happens and it's sick to see, man, boys. So sorry for just ranting towards the end of the video, just rambling. But as you can tell, I'm very excited because, because once again, more content for Seven Sins means more content for Grand Cross, which means the game will survive for much longer. However, with the balanced ideas that they have done with obviously Perk Demedius and also Escanor, has me a bit worried because the balance is going to be getting a bit out of hand but hey if we get that same treatment for chaos alpha and i guess um persevere on the other four nights characters maybe i won't mind too much because i might be a bit biased here but we'll see so boys thank you for watching let me know if you're excited and uh yeah peace.